Hello, and welcome to Lehigh University. My name is Vince Grassi. I'm a professor in the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering here at Lehigh. And it's my pleasure today to share some basic information with you about our distance education program that we have for graduate studies, primarily the Master of Engineering in Chemical Engineering. Let me start by giving you an overview of Lehigh itself. Lehigh is, is a well-recognized, internationally recognized university focused on research and experiential learning. What I mean by experiential learning is our programs are specifically designed with industry and business in mind. So m most of the graduate education courses you'll take will have experiences that you can really relate to in your, in your work. Lehigh has a very vibrant graduate uh, student program that program also includes all of you that might be interested in doing the program through our distance education uh, system. Let me talk a little bit about the specifics of the graduate program at Lehigh. One of our recent graduates uh, has a photograph here and Andrew has gracious, graciously allowed us to, uh, to quote him. And you can read his quote about how he in his work environment has found the distance education program, uh, the master's degree that he received to actually be immediately applicable and aid him in his, in his job. Basically, our program is an integrated curriculum um, based on experience. It includes, and what we mean by that, it includes theory and practical experience that you're able to use in your job. As you, as you know, as working professionals, lifelong learning is critical in, in the changing times that we live in. And this program gives you a palette of different courses and programs that you can take to help you do that. The Masters of Engineering program that we have for chemical engineering at Lehigh actually has three flavors, if you will. There's three specific programs that you can take. And I'm going to describe each of these in a little bit more detail as we go through this webinar. The first is a Masters of Engineering in Chemical Engineering. The next is a more focused program on emerging, an emerging field in chemical energy engineering. And lastly, the new vibrant field of uh, biotechnology, we have a program, the Master's of Engineering in Biological Chemical Engineering. One question you may be asking at this point is, what's the difference between a Master's of Engineering and a Master's of Science? The difference is, in particular for a distance program, it's not thesis-based. The Master's of Science requires a research thesis uh, part of the program. And since our program is designed, you can do this entirely through distance. You're welcome to come to Lehigh as well if you're in the vicinity and take classes in the classroom because these are live classes. But the master's program can be done uh, based on coursework alone, which makes it uh, suitable for distance education. Let me give you a little description of the three programs that we do offer. The chemical engineering master's program is a broad-based uh, program focused on mastering the science of chemical engineering. So it's going to basically be a build on what you've probably have already done in your undergraduate program if you have an undergraduate degree in chemical engineering, going into a lot more depth uh, and revisiting a lot of these topics. I myself uh, did the program as a part-time student. I worked uh, in industry for 35 years before I came to Lehigh and took an academic position here three years ago. Um, and uh, what I found is the program enriched the undergraduate experience that I already had. Things that maybe I had forgotten about, it reinforced, but it added more depth uh, to what I was doing and it was much more practical and an easy way of applying these things. As you can see from the bottom of the slide, the, uh, the type of careers that chemical engineers enjoy is actually very, very broad based. Uh, many of us like to call this that chemical engineering um, is, a, is, a, is a discipline that applies to fields all the way from DNA to petroleum and everything in between. These are the requirements for the ME program in chemical engineering. It's basically 30 credit hours of graduate work. This would be our 300 and 400 level courses. There are four core courses that are required. Um, as you probably know from your undergraduate program in chemical engineering, thermodynamics, reaction engineering, the transport processes, which are fluids, heat transfer, and mass transfer, as well as numerical methods uh, are the core courses that, uh, that must be taken. But in addition to that, there's many electives, and you can see those electives on our website. I will give you a link to our website at the end of this webinar to look at additional electives that you can take to take more, uh, more of a specific interest that you might have to take yourself down a, uh, a specific path. 
The next program that we have is our chemical energy engineering program. And the energy program is, is, uh, is much more focused around things in energy. It requires all the core courses that the chemical engineering program has, plus one additional one in energy, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But the intent of the program is to be more broad-based. So there's elective courses that you can take from outlying areas, such as uh, uh, industrial engineering uh, 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 and technical entrepreneurship, other programs like this that give you a more rounded experience um, that bring in a business component in addition to the technology. These are the requirements for the chemical energy engineering program. As you'll see, it's one more credit hour than the chemical engineering program. But basically, it's the same core courses plus one additional one, the chemical engineering energy course. And that's a survey course which talks about sustainability um, and the various forms of energy uh, conservation and energy generation that are available, uh, looking at it from a molecular and engineering perspective. The third and last program that we offer is the Biological Chemical Engineering Program. And that program is, is similar to the energy program in that it's a, it's a specific program geared towards the biotech area. Let me show you some of the program requirements for this. This one, once again, similar to the other two programs, 30 semester credit hours required at the, at the graduate level. Um, but then you can take a lot of, uh, uh, of, uh, of electives as well. Notice the core courses are different. So in the case of the biological chemical engineering program, the two core courses, uh, the first two are the same core courses in the chemical and energy program, thermodynamics and reaction engineering. But the other two are replaced with our biotechnology courses. There's, uh, there's actually two semesters of uh, biotechnology courses. There's a wide range of courses that you can take in addition to this, the electives. They're all posted on the website. Um, in areas of biology and other aspects of science and engineering. So at the end of the day, um, if you're thinking about a master's degree in chemical engineering, what are some of the qualities that your company or other companies are really looking for, the types of skills that you really want to develop as you go forward? And this is a, this is a, a list uh, of those skills. So at the top of the list, it's analytical skills. That's what we do as engineers. We try to quantify um, physical phenomenon mathematically and analyze it analytically to come up with precise uh, information. The field requires creativity. We're constantly reinventing how we do things. There are many grand challenges that, uh, that engineering is trying to address in society. Some of them are in energy. Some of them are in the biological areas. Um, others are in material science and, and whatnot. And uh, um, creativity is what you will use to be able to do that. Along with creativity and ingenuity, it's, it's thinking outside the box and coming up with uh, new innovative solutions that uh, perhaps will lead you to a patent or uh, uh, some, some kind of trademark uh, certification for your organization. Engineers don't work alone. Um, we have to work in teams. Most engineering work today is all done through the nexus of different engineering and technical skills coming together along with business skills. Therefore, teamwork is really important and, and leadership of how we influence, motivate, and uh, communicate with, uh, with others. Certainly, we can design a nifty product, but if we can't explain it to a customer, it won't be sold. Next on the list are problem solving skills. Well, that's what we do, and that's what the program is really designed around, is different types of practical problems that we are faced with on a much larger level than perhaps what you did in your undergraduate uh, studies. And last but not least is tenacity. Everyone knows engineering is not uh, an easy field, not to say that any of the other fields that you'll study in graduate work are easy. Um, but uh, um, engineering's constantly faced with setbacks, and we have to have the tenacity and the fortitude to deal with those and move forward. All problems can be solved, just requires sometimes a lot of hard work. As I mentioned, uh, chemical engineering uh, really uh, creates career opportunities all the way from DNA to petroleum. So here's a list of, of some of the career opportunities that are available to you. Things in research, process engineering, engineering services, manufacturing, operation, consultancy, and even perhaps starting your own business and entrepreneurship or working with a new startup business with the skills that you bring. The master's program also prepares you should you decide to go on and work on a doctoral program as well. Our master's program is, is not designed to be an entree to a doctoral program, but 
it gives you the necessary background that if you later decided that you wanted to pursue a PhD, you could apply for a PhD at Lehigh or another university. And uh, certainly this would be part of your background and preparation um, for that program. So these are some of the benefits that you would get in our particular program. The photograph that you're seeing here is one of our distance education uh, classrooms. You'll see there's actually students sitting in the classroom. Something that's unique about Lehigh is the reason we call this distance education, not online learning, is because you can actually come to school as well. So if you want, you can travel, you can participate in classes. The classes that we offer through our distance program are actually live classroom environments. You can therefore participate online through the internet in a live classroom session. If because of your work schedule you're not able to attend that particular session, it's available asynchronously. You can go back and you can look at the recording. Also the website uh, tools that we have uh, provide a cohesive learning environment where the course materials are published, they're available to you to download the lecture materials. Um, assignments can be submitted online electronically. And, uh, and tests can be taken at remote institutions and then proctored. And we have capabilities to arrange for that to, uh, to happen. Oh, and I, I should mention too on that slide that uh, the degrees we offer um, are a Lehigh degree. There's no difference between uh, sitting in the classroom and getting a master's degree resident here at Lehigh or doing it online. I know a number of students have asked questions about that. Anyways, that's, uh, that's a brief overview of the program itself. I would encourage you to go to our websites to learn more. There's much more information on the websites than I've even given you here. Um, this is just an introduction. The two websites that are important is distance.lehigh.edu. That's our distance education website. On that website, you can, you can find information about the programs in particular. You can learn about more distance programs that Lehigh offers beyond the chemical engineering programs. You can see the courses that, uh, that are offered. The, uh, the current schedule is, is posted there. The applications process is electronic. That information is posted there. The tuition and, uh, and a lot of the logistical information you need is, is readily available on the distance education website. Beyond that, if you want to learn more about what chemical engineering is at Lehigh, how it's different and differentiated from, uh, from other programs that, uh, that you're able to take, um, I'd invite you to go to our chemical engineering homepage, and that's at lehigh.edu slash chemie. And there you can learn more about the faculty, the biographics, the inf information that we have about the faculty, the particular programs, um, past alumni, and whatnot about, about this. In closing, just a couple of comments that I would like to make is um, I am your academic advisor. My contact information is here on the, uh, on the slide for you. I'd invite you to contact me at any time. Uh, email is probably best, um, as you know. We all get trapped in voicemail tag if we use the phone. But you're welcome to give me a call as well. Probably email would be the best thing, and then we can even schedule a time to, uh, to talk in person. If you are interested in a copy of these slides, send me an email. I'd be happy to send you a copy of the slides. If you have any additional questions, you can ask those in the email as well. One last thing I will say in closing is I've talked in this presentation about the three chemical engineering programs that we offer. Remember, it's a Master's of Engineering in Chemical Engineering or a Master's of Engineering in Chemical Energy Engineering, or a Master's of Engineering in Biological Chemical Engineering. But in addition, we also have a certificate program available too. And that's of interest to many people <coughs> that are working part-time that actually don't need to get a degree, but would rather like to take some refresher courses. And they can get a certificate in courses that they might want to take. The certificate program basically is available for <coughs> excuse me, all of the chemical engineering courses that we have. One core requirement is to take one of the core courses, but you don't have to take more than that. And it's a total of 12 credit hours, not 30 credit hours, to actually get a formal certificate that you did graduate studies in chemical engineering. So a lot of avenues, a lot of, a lot of options. Um, perhaps it can be overwhelming. Take a look at the website. That'll give you more information. And if you want to contact me, uh, please do so at, uh, at this address. Thank you for taking time today.